You're listening to The Dean Blundell Show on 102.1 The Edge. Some of the material on The Dean Blundell Show is not suited for all audiences. Listener discretion is strongly advised. There's a time when the operation of the machine becomes so odious, makes you so sick at heart, that you can't take part. You can't even passively take part. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop. The Dean Blundell Show, 102.1. How about those Jays, first of all? So, Jay, they had a comeback win, right? Two comeback wins? dude. Not only do they have a comeback yeah. win. Yeah. Yeah, two comeback No, not really. Just okay. one. Uh, against the Orioles. So they had a comeback win. They were down. They went to, so at the bottom of the ninth, uh, this Minanuri Kawasaki guy, he hits a two, uh, two-run two double, uh, wins the game, and then which is great. Uh-huh. So you, your Jays won two series in a row. So, you know, heads up. Here we're, we're coming now. <clears throat> so Minanuri Kawasaki, post-game news conference. <laughs> Did you see it? I didn't see it. One of the greatest, one of the greatest parts of television you'll ever see. It, it, it was uh, so he he's the hero of the game, and they're doing this post game interview with uh, one of the guys. Uh, and long story short, they bring out this Kawasaki guy. So I'm going to pick it up right when he came out uh, from the dugout. This is the best. This is a great way to start your Monday. I'll be a strand on you. <laughs> now this guy speaks next to no English. Okay. I want to play this for It's not embarrassing. It's cute as hell. It's the best thing I've ever heard of or seen. And this guy just, uh, people fell in love with him yesterday. This is the start. This is the birth of a Toronto sports hero. I'm just listen to it. It's great stuff. What do you have to say for yourself? Thank you very much. My name is Munenori Kawasaki. I'm from Japan. I'm Japanese. <laughs> My name is Minonori Kawasaki. I'm from Japan. I'm Japanese. <laughs> oh, I'm Japanese. He really let us know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Not done there, though. That's when he gets fun. He actually had someone write some stuff out for him that he could repeat. I can't follow that. I can't follow that. I'm out of here. Yeah. You have some You have some notes here. Yeah, yeah. And what do you have written in your book so far? Yeah. yeah. Uh, my teammate gave me an opportunity, so I wanted to do something about it. My teammates gave me an opportunity to do something, and I wanted to do something about it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> How great was that, yeah. eh? I just, it's such a feel-good story. Uh, listen to that first part again. <laughs> this is his interview. I'll be a strand on you. What do you have to say for yourself? Thank you very much. My name is Munenori Kawasaki. I'm from Japan. I'm Japanese. <laughs> That's the best, isn't it? Good for him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Jays are sucking win. They come great come from behind victory. They were down, then they're down by one, bottom of the ninth, boom, this guy wins. And that's what that see, that's a feel good story. <laughs> He's from Japan. He's Japanese. <laughs> yeah. He's excited. Oh, that's he's nice. so stoked, this guy. I can't follow that. I can't follow that. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. You have some You have some notes here. Yeah, yeah. And what do you have written in your book so far? Yeah. yeah. Uh, my teammate gave me an opportunity, so I wanted to do something about it. That's it. That's it. Brilliant. That's the end of the interview. And then he gets a pie in the face and some Gatorade thrown on his back. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even know what happened. Poor guy's rubbing it out of his eyes. <laughs> How awesome That's that? nice. Yeah, because he wasn't even supposed to be with the team. And then Reyes went down, and yeah. now he's doing this stuff. That's great. Yeah. It's a nice little story. <laughs> it's cute. He's from Japan. I'm Japanese. The Deep Team Blundell Show. It's going to scar me for life. It's going to haunt me forever. Even at an old age. 102.1. I don't know how you put up with it. The Edge. This is your Edge. Hold it. Files <laughs> with Dean Blundell <laughs> on The Edge. I said it, Dan. Oh, sir. <laughs> do ba doo ba doo doo Morning. Well, uh, Mayor Four alleged uh, addresses the alleged drug use on his... Uh, Really terrible radio show. Like it is one of the worst. It's like it's like a, a radio show run by complete 
It would be like if you went... <laughs> Be like if you went to a group home and said, "Hey guys, well here's some radio equipment. Did it on a radio show." <laughs> it just is. Just like a couple dudes hanging out at a Seven yeah. Eleven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right near the taquitos. It looks like. <laughs> and they had video of these two guys yesterday too. And um, the video of these two guys, it looked just like like two really uncomfortable fat guys sitting across from each other. So yesterday, uh, they addressed some of the allegations, and uh, some of them are really funny because, like this one, where they called the media maggots, they hate everybody in the media. Well, not everybody, some people, most people. It's hard to tell. Anyway, it's just really crappy radio. Have a listen. So, um, obviously, I want to address uh, these false accusations or allegations, whatever you want to call it. Uh Oh, so he goes back on the false, Mm -hmm. but we'll see. Um, Against me and against you. This is uh, all ridiculous. I... uh, no matter what you say, I found out to the media, you're never going to make them happen. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of nasty. I, I, I think it's uh, so, well, 80%. <laughs> well, yeah, 80, 80% of them are, are nasty son of a guns. Bunch of maggots. Oh, that's <laughs> nice, huh? Bunch of maggots. This, these are two guys that have never needed the media more. They've never needed to be nicer more. And I know things that no one knows that will be written about newspapers. Trust me, they are going to need the media very soon. Well, and the thing is, it's the mayor of the city. They're, yeah. they're not radio talk show hosts. It's no. not a it's not a forum to then start dissing people. Yeah, the way we they can feel. call yeah. people maggots. It's that. We, we you don't can. Have, yeah, you have a reputation to uphold. You have to be kinder than everyone else. Anyway, this is Doug then now saying that because there's a big article in the newspaper this week on on Rob on Doug Ford saying yeah. that he used to be a massive hash dealer, and then I started getting emails from people going, "Yeah, my dad used to buy his drugs from Ford. They had the best ones." <laughs> We've heard stories for years about uh, some first of the, hand yeah, stories. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I I I found it ironic when I'm getting calls that the people that were chasing Rob, you know, have done cocaine. Have uh, not just experiment, but have indulged in. Listen to this. When anybody makes an accusation like this, they need very specific information. Listen to how specific the information right. here isn't. <laughs> I, I, I found it ironic when I'm getting calls that the people that were chasing Rob, you know, have done cocaine, have uh, not just experiment, but have indulged in cocaine, and they're chasing Rob around. Asking him about cocaine, the same people that were doing it. Uh, it ran rampant uh. in the 80s in the, in the media. Um, so for people to go after uh, Rob. <laughs> you see, do, do you notice here yeah. they never say anything about not ever doing it? And my issue isn't, yeah. listen, I've said this before, I don't care if they have or haven't, and I have very good information which says maybe there's more to the, uh, there's more to the, the story here. But uh, whether they have or haven't, to, 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 to accuse, uh, to not tell the truth, which means lying by omission, and then to accuse other people of doing cocaine because it was rampant in the media in the 70s. It's, it's all, it's t- like my grade, my grade one kid would be able to put out a better argument than that. Well, and again, these, these yes. two guys are so, this is my, this is my, from listening to that, so uneducated uh, and, and just plain ignorantly stupid. Because no, they, they probably did it too. They yeah. did it. They did it. They look did at you. It. Look at you did. Well, that that's guy. not the point. They're not the mayor and the vice mayor or whatever hey, you are. Th- yeah, what is he actually, Doug? A dick? <laughs> <Yeah>. Vice <laughs> dick of Toronto? And that's another thing. What, what, there's there's probably I mean, media. Yeah, is the VP probably, of Wieners. <laughs> probably a ton more media members have done that sort of stuff than people in politics. There's a reason why you chose that, that avenue. Yeah. <laughs> You're the mayor, for God's sakes. I'm not. That's why I can call people maggots. You can't. <laughs> then, of course, the the when we're going to play you in in depth in just a second, uh, a really excellent part of the show. This is a this is how this is what Rob Ford had to add to his show. Yet this is really all he said yesterday, all other than just sounding like an angry fat prick. Uh, <laughs> what are you laughing at? So, uh, um, there's uh, my uh, my. Um, <laughs> So, um, uh, all ridiculous. I, uh, well, you know what, folks, um, that's the media that we have. And, uh, um, stop there for a second. No, a bunch of maggots. I, I can, and I assure you, um, um, yesterday, and uh, the support is phenomenal. And, and I can't uh, for, um, 
you know, uh, coming out, I, uh, restaurant mm-hmm. try after uh, Stephanie's where I'm taking. Um, good, good, uh, and, good. Uh, uh, oh. Anyways, um, uh, I, I, I can't wait to get, <laughs> I'll be the first one. Well, seeing you scrap a lot, man. These guys go down in two seconds. No, no, but, no, uh, but, and uh, uh, today, sorry, I went to uh, 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 a... <laughs> 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 uh, uh, and you know, not done there, yeah. though, folks. Yeah. We'll play that all morning long. Well, I'll take your opinion. Yeah. We're not done there. Though. I will, we'll use that all morning just to accentuate the brain power between these two Twinkies wrapped in skin. Uh, but, but what we have that here made it better yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> but what we have here is 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 if you think that we're cutting this up and turning it this is an uncensored yeah. unedited like just here listen to a couple minutes of how crap this radio show is uh, yeah it's I, I, you guys are so- Losers, it's unbelievable. If you're just waking up right now, you'll probably fall right back to sleep. But <laughs> or you'll listen closer to yeah. go. What the hell is what, that? What is there? Is the dishwasher broken? Here we go, folks. This is um, I've addressed uh, these allegations, and uh, it's unfortunate that you get put in this uh, situation. Uh, but we're moving forward, and I can and I assure you, I want to thank the people of the city. Um, we had a few events um, yesterday, and uh, the support is phenomenal. And, and I can't uh, can't thank the people enough for um, you know uh, coming out. I we went to the Royal Gate uh, restaurant. Unfortunately, they're closed now. Oh, um, that's a small restaurant in our in neighborhood. Rose. Yeah, it's uh, been around Rose 42 Plaza. years, and uh, it was sad. It was it was really sad. Yeah. And there's but, another big party today. Uh, uh, Bruno's, Mama Martino's. Oh, right, Mama Martino's, One yeah. of the best restaurants in the city, good Italian food on the Queensway. He's celebrating, is it his 30th or 40th year? I think Bruno oh, celebrates every year. Yeah, no, yeah anyway, he's an amazing restaurant. There's thousand people good. down there, and uh, are you going to be able to swing by over there? Uh, uh, the I'm going to try after uh, Stephanie's, where I'm taking um, both families out. So, uh, oh, okay. Renata's family and... and, and uh, our family, hopefully uh, you can attend, but you're going to be stuck running. Right no, a, Carla, a... actually, Carla, my wife, and Kyla, the little one, they're going. Oh. Uh, i got to hold down the fort here. Good, good. And, good. Uh, well, anyways, um, I want to get back to, uh, like I said, um, in the past two years, <laughs> you said it, uh, I've said it numerous times, you saved a billion dollars, a billion dollars, which is unheard of. I've never heard any city in the world saving a, a billion dollars in two years. And uh, we've kept taxes low, um, lower than any other administration. We found the efficiencies. We have improved customer service. Oh, and we're bringing us. accountability um, to City Hall. 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 First time ever. <laughs> and I'm very, very, very Fat. happy with I the mean, team uh, that we have. Obviously, there's an election coming up. I, I, I can't wait to get... <laughs> I'll be the first one um, <laughs> putting my name on that ballot. Unfortunately, there's a few uh, counselors that I'm going to be calling out uh, very shortly. And, uh, I'll be calling, folks, I'll be calling some out uh, oh. this week. No, no, seriously. <laughs> Do you know what it is, folks? i got to tell you something. Now, if you thought that was crap, how <laughs> they're going to Mamma Mia's restaurant with Stephanie and Kyla, you know, when we're done here. <laughs> listen, listen to them badmouth everyone they work with here. And listen to Rob just go, <laughs> I never start a fight, but when someone comes up and punches you in the head 15 times, tries to attack your, your credibility, your character, uh, try to go after your, your family's character. I, I, Rob, you, you got thick skin. You got a skin on you like an alligator. I'm first to admit, I go swinging back. The gloves are off. I know, but the fights and, don't and, last and, long, Jones. I've well, seen you scrap a lot, man. These guys go down in two seconds. No, no, but, you know, <laughs> but, no, no, but the, point, so. the point is, you know, they, they want to come after us. <laughs> I'm coming after them. It's very it's simple. This, nasty. Is, this yeah. is new politics, by the way, folks, in, in Toronto. <laughs> and it was driven by by some uh, journalism. Yeah, uh, journalism, yeah. in, in my opinion, has sunk to an all-time low, okay. and not all of them. Any, any when, when I say something, folks, it's never 100% of anything. No, you're right. It, it's 80, percent but not 100, percent because you you can't you can't paint uh, a broad brush on on everyone. It doesn't and that make goes, any sense. And I get upset right. with uh, you can't some... paint a broad brush on a broad brush. Uh, I totally I forgot. Broad brush and gravy. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's funny, man. I'm sorry. Oh, 
It is uh. such terrible radio. It's the best. <laughs> God, I love those, too. <laughs> Me, too. I know. Yep. Those are your edge files, whatever the hell day it is in... Uh... Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It is. It's that day. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, um, there's uh, my... Uh, my um... <laughs> Those are your edge files, whatever the hell day it is in uh, May, the year 2013. The Edge Files! On 102.1, The Edge! This is the Dean Blundell Show. We are dickhead free. 102.1, The Edge. You know what I love? What do you love? I love uh, noodle salad. Yeah? I love... um, I love, uh, like, fizzy water, carbonated water. I really like that. Mm -hmm. I I love kids. I love my kids. But, man, do I love the Fords. Greatest thing ever happened in this city. Absolutely. Folks, you're focusing on the wrong stuff because I said I was going to. Sp- Yesterday, those 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 two turd burglars went off on people that, that they shouldn't have, and 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 on top of it, they're dicks. But God damn it, this is the funniest crap I've ever seen ever in my whole life. <laughs> this is on the news around the world now. This is someone sent me an article from the Guardian UK newspaper saying, "Wow, you are in the news over here too," and we knew it. Yeah, and they, For years they, they did this radio show yesterday where you know. It was it was some of the worst radio. It just was really funny, bad, amateurish, terrible, stupid radio. That's right. <laughs> yeah, but I think you're fine. And it, it, it sounded like uh, Beavis and Butthead, but like the really fat versions of both. Beavis and Fathead. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you said it, Doug. You said it, you said it. And I have audio here. This is a compilation of just, and it, it, this is only a compilation from about 10 minutes of audio. This Their, their, their little uh, show, their little mm-hmm. dump. Uh, last what an hour or two? How long does it? Yeah, he, they went. Rob went on for the first hour with Doug, and then Rob had like some family events to take care of that I guess Doug didn't think were important enough to be a part of. Yeah, and then oh, no, you know what the family yeah. event was? What? Someone tweeted it back to me. They went to the Mandarin. Did they actually go to the Mandarin? Yeah, I got a picture of Rob at the Mandarin on my uh, Twitter feed at it's Dean Blundell somewhere that someone said it to me. Super funny, but his face looks like it's going to pop off. <clears throat> anyway. This 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 happened yesterday on their radio show, uh, <laughs> and and we're only going to play the most important parts. Th- these are the only some of the uh, only truthful parts of the entire uh, segment. Very few truthful. I'm sure there were lots of truthful parts. These are the only truthful parts that I could find. <laughs> this guy so uh, um, there's uh, my uh, my um, <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> Eh? You entertained already? <laughs> the only words you can really make out here are words like restaurant. I'm not kidding. Uh, all ridiculous. I uh, Well, you know what, folks? Um, that's the media that we have. And um, Stop there for a second. No, a bunch of maggots. No. And, I can, and I assure you, um, um, yesterday, and uh, the support is phenomenal. And, and I can't uh, for... Um, you know, uh, coming out, I uh, restaurant try after uh, <laughs> Stephanie's room taking um, good, good, and, good. Uh, oh. Anyways, um, I, I, I can't wait to get. I'll be the first one. Seeing you scrap a lot, man. These guys go down in two seconds. No, no, <laughs> but, no, but. And uh, today, sorry, I went to uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Here. All right. Here we go. How you doing, Mr. Ford? What's going on? Rob Ford, is it true there's a cheeseburger in the pipe? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. This guy's emailing me, hey, I can't believe you care about this so much. Don't you think the media looks stupid for making accusations about addiction and eating rehab with alleged evidence that disappeared? Rather hear talk about baseball. Yeah, me too. That's why Jay's one five four last. I night. think six five. Oh, six five? Yeah, I think oh, so. Sorry. No, no, I want to <laughs> they won by a run. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, coming up in just a minute, uh, new allegations uh, about uh, a possible murder linked to the video as well. Really? Yeah. It was That's in the Globe. Insane. I've got nothing to substantiate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in the Globe this morning. Oh. Yeah. Now the Globes. <laughs> yeah. It, you know, it's funny how the Star, first of all, were a bunch of dicks, and then mm-hmm. Gawker didn't even get recognized, and they kind of outed the story. And now the Globe's full of losers, too, apparently. How long before the National Post and the Sun are full of morons? Anyway, is that Gawker now like a couple hundred grand? Close, yeah. yeah. And they said if they don't, uh, if, if they can't obtain the video through, yeah. through this money and they can't find these guys again, 
They're going to donate it to a Toronto drug addiction charity, which is cool. Yeah, it's, that's wonderful. Yeah, it is. But anyway, new allegations of murder. <laughs> this is a, uh, a possible a link to a murder uh, because of the video coming up. And, and actually, like, the police have, are investigating parts of it. So that's what I, I'm, and I'm just reading the story. I don't know if it's true. All I know is, man, the radio show sucks. It really sucks, but it's awesome too, right? Oh, I think if you went and bought some hashish from someone and listened to it, you'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is Hey, Gasser's back, everybody. Yeah. Craig Gas. Oh, yeah. What's up? Holy cow. Your what job just up? got easy in this city. Yeah, because yeah. Our, our alleged cracked smoking mayor. I well, and now 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 there's uh, allegations in a newspaper article that just came out this morning that there's a murder linked to the video. See, that's the thing that I was suspecting in the last 24 hours because I couldn't wait to come back to town. Because the last time I was in town, yeah, I got in trouble with the mayor because I went on global news and I said, "Hey, I have a new impression of the mayor," and my impression was, "Man, I'm." Wasted. That was you know, it. Was it was a goof because he was in the paper every day. People were saying I'm uncomfortable to be around him because he's hammered. Yeah. And then uh, apparently I drove him to the pipe and uh, <laughs> <laughs> which uh, and when I heard yesterday that the somehow the video now still hasn't been released and the guy who had the video has not been heard from. Oh, and then there's another guy in the in a picture with these guys in the video that is now dead. That's dead. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. There's a guy. It's unfortunate story. He was murdered outside of a nightclub right downtown uh, about a month, a month and a bit ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I, I don't know if there's any correlation. Yeah, uh, allegedly, the allegedly someone tipped off the police that there was, and the police have interviewed people, and now everybody's mum. Everybody's what, quiet. What's interesting about it is for for the person from the star to put the entire reputation of the newspaper on the line to say, "I've seen the video." And Gawker. And yeah. Gawker. And it was say, two people from the star. And yeah. To say, we've seen it. It does exist. Yeah. And there is a video that exists of the mayor smoking crack. And uh, now it, it, the person who has it has disappeared. Yeah. And they can't access it anymore. And that Ford actually goes on the air and says, that video does not exist. Not, didn't say it never existed. It never said, happened. Yeah. He just says it doesn't exist. Exactly. Yeah. So I now have to work on my impression of Ford. <laughs> do, you have a, do, you, do you have an impression? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here's my... Um, all right, now forgive me because this is brand new, all right? Uh, yeah, he always says that. So <laughs> you, have to, you have to forgive me. Yeah. Uh, You're forgiven. All right, it might actually sound more like Tracy Morgan, but here's my impression of Mayor Ford, uh, the updated version. Last time he was hammered. Now here's the updated version. Here we go. <clears throat> Mayor Ford, new impression. <clears throat> What do you mean cheeseburgers? I ain't smoking cheeseburgers. That's crazy. <laughs> but I do love me a double patty. <laughs> so anyway, what you're going to get to do is talk about this because they'll talk about on on uh, on your because you're going to co-host Global Morning Live this morning. I am actually hosting. <laughs> The whole week of Global Morning Live. This whole starting, week? This wow, whole week. Starting that's next so year. exciting. Yeah, uh, that's um, why I'm here. Well, I'm here. I'm, gonna, I'm doing that, and then I'm doing a show in Hamilton at Hamilton Place at the uh, Molson uh, stage. This weekend? This Sunday? Uh, Saturday. Saturday night. And uh, there's... Uh, I actually got... Um, I reached out to that girl, Christina, who... I, there was this big thing online about this girl from Toronto yeah. who was getting heckled. At a, at a comedy club in Niagara. These I think guys it was were, Casino. It was Casino Niagara. Yeah, Casino Niagara. These guys were chanting, show your boobs, show your boobs. And other things. Yeah, and show your bush. You know, and, yeah. they just, and then she ended up getting fired because of it. So I reached out to her and said, that's BS, and I can't believe you got treated like that. Uh, you, you should come do a fun show and have fun. She's going to open up for you? She's doing the show. She's oh, doing that's the show crazy. on Saturday. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to heckle the hell out of her. I'm yeah. going yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, dude, I'm going to go heckle gas. Yeah, yeah. Show us your balls. <laughs> Show us your wiener. I got to tell you, the last time I was in town, um, when I, when I, there's certain cities I go to that I think, I wonder if I can get somebody to come out to my show. Like yeah. uh, The first time I came to Toronto, I invited people from the Blue Jays front office, and they came out, which is awesome. I'm a huge mm -hmm. baseball fan. Yep. Last time I was in town, and I kept forgetting every time I come into town to uh, make, a, make an effort. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big music fan, huge music fan. And when I think of Toronto, I always think of Rush, one yeah. of the biggest rock bands of all time. So I contacted their office. I wasn't trying to get the band Rush to come out, 
But I wanted to reach out to their manager, Ray Daniels. Yeah. And I thought that he would appreciate my stand-up comedy, especially because I do this whole thing, which is like the thing I have in my CD called, I think Gene Simmons is going to kill me. Yeah. Right? And I think he would appreciate that whole thing that I do about Gene Simmons. So I call their management company, which is called SRO. SRO, yeah. Andy Curran, those guys. Yep. So I call SRO Entertainment, and I know they won't pick up from me, so I call and oh. I say... Uh, <laughs> Well, I thought that, because usually I, I've done this before where I call as a celebrity. Just to get your foot in the door? Just to get the foot in the door. And, <laughs> then, uh, and then they pick up. And then I say really inappropriate stuff where they go, what? Uh, and then and then I go, hey, actually, my name's Craig Gass. I'm a comedian. No way. And we all have a laugh. How'd that, it go? That didn't happen this time. <laughs> I, uh, I called in and I said, uh, I go, um, I is Ray Danielson. And I go, who is this? And I go, it's Gene Simmons from Kiss. Oh, just one moment. And they put me through. Hi, Ray Daniels' office. Hi, it's Ray, and this is Gene Simmons from Kiss. And she goes, you know what? Uh, oh, hi, Gene. Um, he's not in right now, um, but he'll be in next week. Uh, uh, can I leave him a message? Do you have a number he can reach you at? And I said, no. I Look, can I get... <laughs> <laughs> no. Can, uh, look, uh, look uh, uh, she I, called your bluff. And I go, can I, listen, can I get Ray's email address? And she goes, um, yes. Well, um, and I hear the hesitation in her voice. She goes, well, uh, I, I don't like to give out his personal information. Um, I, can I, is there any way I can prove that it's you? Can I call you back? And I said, you want to prove that it's me? Why don't you ask me a question? And there's a long pause. She goes, ask you a question? I go, yeah, ask me a question. <laughs> and I'll prove it. Just ask me anything about myself. And she goes, I can't think. And I go, I'll tell you what. I'll ask you a question. Who's the greatest rock band of all time? And she goes, I'm guessing Kiss. And I go, that's right. And she goes... All right. Uh, his email address. <laughs> she gave it to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> she knows. She's like, this guy is such a pompous <laughs> dick. It's got to be him. It's got to be him. Gotta be him. Gotta what be him. a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, I get the email address. You should have said, it's definitely not Rush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. That would have been, can you imagine? Yeah. So, I uh, so I write the email to Ray. Hey, Ray. Uh, okay. First off, just got to tell you. I just played a prank call on your assistant, and it was just, here's what, and I laid the whole thing out, and I called her as Gene, and I was such a jerk that she believed it. Anyways, I'm a stand-up comedian, blah, blah, He never replied. Never emailed you that back. Was, that was two months ago when I was performing at the Panasonic. He still hasn't replied. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. So. Well, maybe you get him to come out to the Global Morning Show. That'd be quite the coup. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'm going to hear from yeah, him. Yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> but, uh, They're good people, too. They're great people. Like, you won't find a nice like that SRO group, the management group, yeah. awesome people. Really well, good. And the guys in the band are just the, the nicest gems, guys ever. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah well, they, they've gone on to, like, I mean, that management company, because uh, that because Rush has gotten so huge and they've, they've handled them so well, they've gone on to manage all these other huge, huge acts. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'm kind of bummed out. I wish I wish somebody would have contacted me and said, "Listen, don't uh, don't get Ray." I mean, it's funny to make a prank call, yeah. but then you get somebody's email address and get their personal information. I just wanted to invite him to a show. Well, so. yeah, maybe he was. Maybe you really sent her for Luke. Maybe he's buddies with Gene. Yeah. Well, oh, there's no. Well, they've toured together so many times. Ah, there you go. That's hilarious. So, yeah. I, I didn't know. But, maybe uh, just called up Gene and said, "What do you want me to email you for?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't throw out the shocker uh, every day on Global News. Well, I want to talk about that coming yeah. up next, real quick. Uh, we're going to take a break. Come back, uh, Craig Gas. Uh, I love gas comedy. Uh, or well, at, it's, what yeah, is it? Uh, at Craig Gas Comedy. Yeah. With two S's. Uh, but the I information. Love gas. For the show, oh yeah, facebook.com slash I love gas. But the information for the show in Hamilton yeah. on Saturday night is at getgas.com. Getgas.com. It's at Hamilton Place, uh, the Molson stage. Uh, but coming up next, we'll talk a little bit about his uh, next TV appearance. The last one he did for us was. <laughs> God dang it. It wasn't was for you. Yeah, it was. You did it for. I asked <laughs> well, I you know. to do it. You did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is now a proven fact Facebook is a scourge on society, Facebook destroys relationships. Facebook makes people do terrible things to one another. Terrible, terrible things. The Dean Bundell Show is on Facebook. See what the guys are up to. Leave a comment. Listen to the podcast. Make new friends. Dispose of the old ones. Check us out on Facebook today. And please 
like us. All right, whatever. The Dean Bundell Show, one hundred two point one. The X. Craig Gas. It's uh, on Twitter. On uh, sorry, on Facebook at I Love Gas. Facebook I Love Gas. Is that yep. correct? And uh, Craig Gas Comedy on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Get gas for tickets to go to his comedy show in Hamilton this weekend. Getgas.com. I just want to add, if you missed it when he was at the uh, Panasonic, that's where you were. Go check him out in Hamilton. This guy is worth seeing. I, yeah. I, you know, I don't, I don't say that lightly. Todd yeah. came to the show. Well, and did, it, can I ask you a question? And yeah. I don't want you to say anything just yeah. for a sec, Todd. Just give me. And keep in mind, I love him like a brother. Did Todd, he ask you if he could introduce you, or did you ask him? I asked him. Okay, good. No, he came out, and, uh, and I said, you should come out. And, and uh, he actually had a story about, because uh, my whole family's deaf. Yeah. And he had a story. Oh, about, then he did the deaf. Did he do the deaf? That movies? was the first time yeah, I ever did yeah. comedy, yeah. Yeah, and, he, and it went over great, man. He, and he, he was hit, like, as, like a typical comedian, he was beating himself up afterwards. Like, oh, I could have done that better. I, yeah. I should have tightened him. I was like, no, nah, it was great. It was Well, fun. the best was this, though. Uh, everywhere I go, too, you get this, where's D? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now you know what Tommy Chong feels like. Yeah, yeah. Here he goes. Hey, man, where's Cheech? Yeah, yeah. Where's Cheech? So, okay. You're, first you're... time on mic, it wasn't bad. It wasn't like you grabbed the mic and just, it wasn't like your first words on Who the mic were, I am from Japan! <laughs> so listen, I am Japanese. All right, are you done? <laughs> all right, sorry. Uh, you're doing you're doing the Global Morning Show, uh, and and um, you're going there uh, like soon, like right away. You got to go there, get right makeup now. on, yeah. and then when you get there, you got to co-host it with Liza, who thinks I'm awesome. She loves she loves us here. She's awesome. Everyone She's over cool. There is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you're going to host it. Are, are, are you, what are you doing? Just like talking? Is it current event? Yeah, I'm big crazy. I am co-hosting the show. Yeah. Um, and they have me co-hosting for the entire week for the national broadcast beginning at 9 a.m., so which is amazing to me. I've already been to Toronto four times. Yeah. Actually. This is my fifth time here. You're welcome. And uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It goes 9 till 10? Uh, 9 till 9.30. Oh, the big, okay. It's, just, it's a 30 minute. So uh, we'll just open up with some topics. Uh, they want me to just be funny. They haven't you should given- take Lies out for a drink after. Yeah. Yeah. Hang yeah. out with her. She's them. newly single. Yeah. Yeah. Never know. You guys might become fast friends. <laughs> Maybe I could call in <laughs> from a date for the show. As Gene Simmons, you'll never guess where I am. Hi, are you enjoying Liza's appearance? How would you like to see the real stuff? Go to kissonline.com. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, good luck to you. Have fun today and then report back. But uh, you need to do something for us, right? Hmm. Well, I, mean, I can't keep. I can't give a shocker I'm for not, an entire week. Why? No, I, I got you a job for a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, the last when time you were there, you gave the shocker and made fun of her Brazilian, and you got a job for a whole week out of it. So you got to do something for us. All right, what could I do that would be uh, Dean Blundell show specific that won't get me thrown out of the country? Well, Todd, we were talking about it earlier, and Todd had a good suggestion. I thought it was good. Yeah, because you're going to be doing all these interviews and stuff. At some point, you're going to have to ask this question. Hey, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't even need to include the hay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just be, what happened? <laughs> just at the very beginning of the show, well, some more news with Mayor Ford. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> People love it, man. All right, I'll do that. Yeah. All, All right, right, so nice and simple. Just yeah. what happened? Just what happened. What you happened? can do, hey, what happened? You can do whatever. Yeah, a variation of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll check in with you during the week, let you know that I'm throwing it out there. All right, go see Craig Gass on global television. We'll look for his what happened every weekday morning this week. Good to see you again, brother. I'll, is it okay are you going to wear that on the show? Yeah, you I was gonna, get... do you wear your hat? Like, will you wear your hat? Well, well this shirt, shirt is yeah. actually, I mean, this shirt's obscene, so... So S-O-M-F. it's S O M F. It's sit on my face. <laughs> so that would be funny to wear, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> I, know that's, somebody, I was at the Rock on the Range last week, and somebody was like, "Hey, I want you to wear my shirts." And I was like, "Oh, what is this?" And he goes, well, "Think about it. Just think about it." And I go, uh, "That one." Yeah, th- and I go, uh, "Oh, S O M F." Uh-huh. My oh face okay. furniture <laughs> yeah <laughs> sit on yeah, just say it means sit on my furniture should I wear this on the show absolutely oh, you yeah. have to sit on my did you see that dude on CNN the other day right after the uh, tornado oh, uh, is in Oklahoma no. big fat guy wearing a shirt on on CNN the very first interview after the devastation one of the very first and it's like sir what 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 happened he's like. Yeah, I came from another town. See if my, my homie and I could help out. The shirt it says, you know what it says? She wants the D. Look, look no! Yeah, really? Yeah, so look, you can wear that. Wow. <laughs> you can seriously, you can wear that shirt, SOMF. You can wear it. My favorite news blooper of all time, and it's all over YouTube, is uh, coming 
going to a commercial, this woman at a news desk, completely serious, goes, when we come back, we're going to tell you about somebody who climbed Mount Everest, even though, get this, he's gay. Oh, no. I'm, oh, my God. He's, no, he's blind. Gay? No, what am I talking about? He's blind. But the intensity that she has when she says, even, oh, no, I'm sorry. He's blind. He's not gay. He's blind. All right, guys. I'll see you guys uh, at the end of the week. I'll check back in the very end of the week. Oh, hey, you know how I got happened. it right here. I got this. Oh, you have it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. This is the best. This is, this is the best. Yeah. Completely serious. After the break, we're going to interview Eric Weihenmayer, who climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. But he's gay. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me. He's blind. So we'll hear about that okay. As we head to the break, I'll look at the six. <laughs> what the hell is she thinking? After the break, we're going to interview Eric Weihenmayer, who climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. Yeah. But, but he's gay. Oh. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me, he's blind. So we'll hear about that. Like she later. points to the camera, even though this <laughs> yeah. little can you fruit. believe? <laughs> this, how funny is it that she's so dismissive, even yeah. though this guy loves dudes. <laughs> <laughs> he can still climb things. Yeah, that's uh, amazing. You think people that were gay could climb things better? <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys right, in the week. Luck. Craig Gass, yes. everybody. Thank you, guys. Uh, check them out, and uh, hopefully man. you'll be back a couple Global times news. this week, I hope. I'll, I'll come back on Friday and report back. Whoa, All right, right man. Yeah, Never. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Attention, citizens of Florida. Attention, citizens of Louisiana. The Dean Blundell Show. Let's go over again. Across the category, five for greater. 102.1. <laughs> time for what happened. What are we giving away? <laughs> We have some great prizes. <laughs> no, we really do. We have uh, these uh, Red Bull tour bus at Tokyo Police Club and then Edge Fest and as well, this is the end movie passage, which looks absolutely hilarious. All right. There's two people here that caught people having sex in the bathroom. Two different stories. Yeah. I'm just looking at it. Well, that's what it says here. Mm -mm -mm. It's just the system. Hmm. Oh, well, that makes sense. Hey, Cam. Uh, it's Carm, actually. Carm, sorry. That's okay. So, uh, when I was 18 years old, I'm going to try and summarize it for you because I know you guys don't like when people talk forever. So, uh... It's okay. You can talk forever if it's interesting and not, not uh, you know, boring. Oh, well... <laughs> all right, fine. Um, well, 18 years old, wake up one morning, look down at my Johnson, and, uh, you know, it, uh, the tip of it's going purple. So, rush to the doctor. Uh, doc says... You have a strangulated penis head, and at 18 years old, I had to get circumcised. <sighs> Ay, caramba. Uh, although, yeah. probably the it's best. crazy. The best, uh, well, your name's Karm Karma, you could ever have in your life. Yeah. So, well, <laughs> so hold it, hold yeah. it. You had a strangulated tip of your penis? Yeah. It was, yeah so your much. skin was too tight because you were, weren't circumcised. It was so tight, it was strangling the tip of your wiener? Yep, pretty <clears> much. <throat> We're right again. Mm -hmm. All right, hang on. We're right. We're, we're always right. Hey, the edge. Hey, how's it going? Good. Who's this? It's Doug. Hey, Doug. Hey. So I was. Uh... What the f happened? What the f happened? Hey, what happened? It happened quite some time ago. I was uh, the woman I was dating. Now my wife. We were out for the evening. Came home and I was going to drop her off at the. Uh, entrance to her building in the underground where we decided to pull into a unused spot at the time and have a little fun so after we finished i drove around to the door to drop her off she went in the door then pushed the button for the elevator and all of a sudden some dude jumps out from down the corner with no pants on runs up with his junk out finishes off on my wife's leg and runs away <laughs> so i jump out of the car uh Chase the guy down, catch him. That first of all, can you can you commend his uh, his his ability to, to 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 masturbate in a very extreme circumstances? I mean, that, that is unbelievable. His timing was impeccable. Yeah. yeah, and like you think about how hard it would be to concentrate when all that's going on. You give him a, give him a little bit of credit here. Yeah. Yep. I uh, so I chased the guy down and pound him silly. Anyway, so now I'm covered in blood and whatever juice he is uh, been letting go. The uh, cops are called. I end up getting charged with assault because uh, the guy's just a bloody mess. 
I have to get tested for HIV and hepatitis, hepatitis. And yeah. all that. Uh, at the time, they thought I had hep C, but it found out afterwards um, I might have had it. But after a while, your body um, makes an enzyme to fight hep C, and that's all they test for. So in the long run, I didn't have hep C. But, and I ended up getting off all the charges, and then he got charged. And uh, he went away and had a little bit of a psycho- psychological evaluation. All right, thanks. That's, that's when you're yeah. starting to get boring, yeah, by the yeah. way. I guess it was easy to make the charge on him because the wife just, sh- just showed the yeah. cops her leg. Look at it! <laughs> yeah. Look at it! <laughs> Jake. Good morning. How are you, sir? I am well yourself. I'm doing well. Where are you calling from? Calling from Niagara. Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? What happened? What the f- happened? Well, about 10 years ago, I was working security at a uh, Ontario resort, and I got alerted by some mail to attend the public washroom so i ran over and he was spoke broken english couldn't tell me what happened but he was flailing his arms and very excited so i ran in thinking there's a problem i run into the bathroom and i see a lifeless leg and the pungent odor of poo hit me in the face so i run up to the stall i jump up and over and i look down and there are these two i don't really know what to do because i'm pretty new and then this giant lazy eyeball was staring at me through the crack of the door. Again, I don't know what to do, so I ended up punching the bathroom stall door and tell him to get out. And I left. I'm waiting outside. Now a little bit of a crowd's forming. And these two boys, well, teenagers, walk out. And I'd met one of them a couple weeks ago. We back on? Damn it. Back on? <sighs> Hi, the edge. Hello? Dave. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, dude? Uh, okay, so basically, uh, I puked on my friend's mom while she was sleeping. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if you more of that or... Uh, yeah, yeah. So far, so, so good. We're at my buddy's house and uh, we went to the bar or whatever. Got pretty wasted, and then uh, I uh, had to get. I guess I had to get up and go yam in the bathroom, but uh, I got lost upstairs. It was dark, and uh, yeah, my buddy said he was looking for me because he saw me get up, and then uh, saw me in uh, my buddy's parents' uh, bedroom, and I was uh, puking all over uh, his mom. What was her reaction? Uh, I couldn't even really tell you. Hopefully, was- not good. Uh, I don't think it was the greatest, though. But, uh, I love yeah. how he doesn't remember. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. No it's, kidding. It's good validity yeah. to the story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that one's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Andrew. How are you? Good, man. How you doing? I'm good, thanks. Good. What happened? Hey, what happened? What the f- happened? Uh, three weekends ago, I was swimming in the pool. I got the pool open. was swimming. Having fun with the daughter and uh, my little boy. Uh, I got out of the pool and my big black lab started to dry, uh, jump on top of me, jumping up on me. His nail ripped open my sack and one of my testicles was hanging out the short, uh, my shorts leg. Yeah, you win. What did it look like other than uh, red? <laughs> I, I didn't think there was some red everywhere. I kind of had a quick look. A little, um, it's almost like a ball on a bungee. Huh. <laughs> was your, uh, was your lab a male? He is a male, yeah. Was he neutered? Yes, he was. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got you back, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Karma sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what if it, like, it looked like one of those, uh, you know, those balls on the that rubber that you hit back and oh, forth? Oh, the wing, pogo. Wing, wing. Yeah, 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 what are those yeah. things called? Yeah, I yeah. don't remember, but they were awesome. Balls? Yeah, whatever. Something looked like a tether ball. <laughs> no, the thing on the paddle. I know it. Yeah, bang, 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 bang. Anyway. This is the Dean Lundell Show. On the Edge. Coming up in a minute. The Ford Brothers. 
uh, a homicide. Police are investigating a mayor's staffer about. This is getting crazy. Crazy, dude. And the worst radio show in the world. It's all about the same people. Worst, but the best, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, this is, I, I don't care who you are. I really don't. What we'll play for you coming up is, mm-hmm. is this is entertaining. No, a bunch of maggots. Oh. And, I can, and I assure you, um, um, yesterday, and uh, the support is phenomenal. And, and I can't, uh, for, um, you know, uh, coming out, I, uh, restaurant, mm-hmm. try after uh, Stephanie's room, I, uh, restaurant, try, mm-hmm. 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 um, restaurant, try mm-hmm. after, I, uh, um, restaurant, mm-hmm. try after uh, Stephanie's room, taking, um, good, good, and, good. Uh, Anyways, um, I, I, I can't wait to get... I'll be the first one. Well, seeing you scrap a lot, man. These guys go down in two seconds. No, so no, but... It's usually, no, uh, but and uh, today, <laughs> sorry. I went to... Uh, uh, <laughs> what are you laughing at? This guy here. Wow. I personally like it because he's like the only man who laughs at his own jokes more than I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he knows he's a joke. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sad, though. I wish that... Uh, <laughs> I really wish that they could continue. I know that he's going to lose his job. I don't know. I think it's going to go on for a little bit still. You a think little so? bit. Yeah. A little bit. The uh, Globe and Mail, because the Globe wrote an article on the Ford family and the drug trade yesterday, and then they wrote another one basically today linking the, uh, um, the a murder with the, uh, the, the video. So, in the interview, someone in uh, the mayor's office about the murder. So, uh, I, for whatever that means, I don't know. There's a be. tip, that's all. There's just a tip and the police question that because yeah. of it, you have to question all tips, right? But you know, the dude that was in the picture with the mayor, it's, an, it's, a, it's, too, it's almost mind-blowing how crazy this story's getting. The dude that was in the picture with the mayor and the one still picture they do have from the video uh, is dead. His name was Anthony Her- Smith. Anthony Smith, yeah. 21. The guy giving the finger is dead, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he got and shot he died just March. at uh, Portland and yeah, yeah, just at Portland and uh, King there at Loki. Yes, bulletproof Wednesday. It was. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, and then so that happens. Then this video, someone tipped someone off. Now they're interviewing the mayor about stuff or the mayor's office. Who knows? I don't know. I, I can't say what it is. I'm not accusing anybody of anything. No, no. It's just it's other than article. other than those two, those two doughy messes of crap. <laughs> other than those two hot pieces of f. I'm just not being very good radio hosts at all. <clears throat> yeah, that's that. the only thing we can accuse them of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only thing I know for certain is they are terrible on the radio. <laughs> and uh, we'll play you some examples of that and some of the stuff that they said about other people yesterday. I mean, come on. You, if you're in a small group of people, that's one thing. If you're the mayor and you're in a small group of people and you want to talk like that, great. You want to call people maggots on a radio show? You're just a hunk of garbage. With teeth, little yellow brown teeth, big gaps in them too. You can eat an apple through it. Sorry, not an apple. You could eat a sour key through a picket fence. It's the Dean Glendale Show. Head for the hills. One hundred two point one, the edge. This is your edge. Hold it. Files <laughs> with Dean Blundell right. on the edge. Good news. Uh, Robbie Rogers just became the first openly gay male athlete to play in a U.S. professional league, MLS, LA Galaxy. That's good. Great news. I knew it. Anyway. <laughs> it gives it a meaning to. Yeah, it's good. To header. Rob and Doug Ford robbed the mayor of the city with close to 400 pounds. Doug, uh, not far behind him, uh, both accused of some pretty nefarious stuff. The family outed in a Globe and Mail now, not just the Star and Gawker, Globe and Mail article saying a vast history of uh, drug trade issues. Uh, Randy, the brother, was uh, he's been in trouble with the law a bunch, some drug issues. Sister, tons of drug issues, including uh, a murder around her ex-boyfriend or something like that. You'll have to look it up. She was also shot, the sister. Like, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, lots of drugs, lots of issues. Video allegedly of Rob Ford uh, smoking crack, uh, uttering some gay slurs about Justin Trudeau. Uh, there's a dead drug dealer in the picture with him who's now dead. Now they're uh, apparently investigating any linkage between those two, if there is or not, not for me to say. Yeah, there's just a tip, and the police investigated with the staffers. Yeah, yeah. But yesterday, these two meatheads took to uh, their radio show. 
And when I say meatheads, I mean meatheads. This is the worst radio I've ever heard. And I've heard a lot of radio in my day. These two guys have a hard time stringing a sentence together. The phrases that they use to describe things aren't even accurate. Painted with a broad brush. I think you mean broad strokes. Anyway, this is a clip of them calling people maggots. So, um, obviously I want to address uh, these false accusations or allegations, whatever you want to call it, um, against me and against you. This is uh, all ridiculous. I, uh, I, no matter what you say, I found out to the media, you're never going to make them happen. Uh, there's a lot of nasty. I, I, I think it's oh, uh, oh, 2%. 80%. <laughs> well, yeah, 80%, 80% of them are, are nasty son of a guns. Bunch of maggots. Nice, huh? That's a mayor. That's the mayor calling the people, the constituents of his sitting maggots. Yeah, the mayor should just take the high road. Say, yeah, it's unfortunate that they're saying these things about me, you know, if he's going to continue to deny. deny it's deny. especially unfortunate yeah. if it's true. I think it'd be awesome if it yeah, was. No <laughs> so then they go a step further. Uh, you'll notice how you, when you accuse some, someone of something, uh, you have to be able to identify exactly what it is. Listen to how, how self-serving and stupid these two guys sound. I, I, I found it ironic when I'm getting calls that the people that were chasing Rob, you know, have done cocaine, have uh, not just experiment, but have indulged in cocaine, and they're chasing Rob around, asking him about cocaine, the same people that were doing it. Uh, it ran rampant in the 80s in the, in the media. Um, so for people to go after uh, Rob... <laughs> Uh, what? What? I don't even know what he said. He just said that. Uh, uh, they did it. So, you know. Doesn't matter with him, that I'm the mayor, he's the mayor. No one's guilty unless proven guilty. Or something like that. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, not the most boring part, though. The most boring part is that these two morons just do a terrible radio show. Have a listen. This is like listening to two fat guys talk over the counter of a couple of crewlers at Tim Hortons. Have a listen to this. I assure you, I want to thank the people of the city. Um, we had a few events um, yesterday, and uh, the support is phenomenal. And, and I can't uh, can't thank the people enough for um, you know uh, coming out. I we went to the Royal Gate uh, restaurant. Unfortunately, they're closed now. Um, That's a small restaurant in our in neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, been around Rose forty-two Plaza. years, and uh, it was sad. It was it was really sad. Yeah, okay. And there's but, another big party today. Uh, uh, Bruno's, Mama Martino's. Oh, right, Mama Martino's, One yeah. of the best restaurants in the city, good Italian food on the Queensway. He's celebrating, is it his 30th or 40th yeah. year? I think Bruno well, celebrates every year. Yeah, well, no, yeah, anyway, he's an amazing restaurant. There's a thousand people good. down yeah, there, and uh, are you going to be able to swing by over there? Uh, I'm the going to try after uh, Stephanie's, we're, we're taking um, both families out. So, oh, okay. uh, Renata's family and... and, and uh, our family, hopefully uh, you can attend, but you're going to be stuck running. Right no, a, Carla, a... actually, Carla, my wife, and Kyla, the little one, they're going. Cool. Uh, i got to hold down the fort here. Good, good, and, good. Uh, well, anyways, um, I want to get back to, uh, like I said, um, in the past two years. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was nothing. It was, it was like two, two old fat guys sitting around talking about uh, nothing. Yeah, it's great. Uh, you should try the uh, penne. At Mama Martino's, yeah, it's another farm. restaurant. They all they, they started that interview by talking about restaurants and food. <laughs> I, I mean, love they're, these they're guys. being accused of two, some pretty nefarious stuff right now, and they were talking. Hey, can you believe that the Royal Palace closed down forty two years? Best restaurant ever. They serve some kick ass goulash. You know, we we said it last week that we they make a great reality show. Did you see what was trending on Twitter this weekend? Uh, no. Hashtag Ford Brothers TV show. And people were coming up with all these different oh, yeah. names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it'd be a great TV show. <laughs> uh, you could use this as a blooper reel. Listen to this. This is the uh, a compilation of some of the most genius stuff they said on the program. <laughs> this guy. So, uh, um, there's uh, my, uh, my, um, <laughs> so, um, uh, all ridiculous. I, uh, well, you know what? Folks, um, that's the media that we have. And, um, Stop there for a second. No, a bunch of maggots. And I, can, and I assure you, um, um, yesterday, and uh, the support is phenomenal. And, and I can't uh, for, um, you know, uh,
coming out. I uh, restaurant yeah. try after uh, Stephanie's. We're, we're taking um, good, good, and, good. Uh, Anyways, um, I, I, I can't wait to get... I'll be the first one. Well, Seeing you scrap a lot, man. These guys go down in two seconds. Oh, no, no, but, uh, and uh, today, sorry, I went to... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy here. Here's your mayor, folks. I'm starving. I hope he's the mayor forever. <laughs> Edge Files, whatever the hell day it is, in uh, May, the year 2013. Yeah! Files on 102.1. The Edge. 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 The Edge. City embroiled in scandal. City Hall's mess. Someone that uh, breaks those stories and, and has seen the video of Rob Ford uh, allegedly smoking crack. Robin Doolittle from the Toronto Star. Hey, ma'am. Hey, morning. How are you? Good. Can I call you, ma'am? No, we already went, we went over that, didn't we? Oh, did we? Yeah. I can't remember. We said we agreed on cis. I smoked so much crack cocaine <laughs> this morning that I can't remember. <laughs> I didn't. Anyway, um, so can you can you kind of believe the genesis of what's going on here? I mean, um, you know, the, the Gawker breaks a story. You guys break the story. Uh, you and uh, this Donovan guy, you 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 um, you you will watch the video of Rob Ford smoking crack. Publish a story about it. Thing goes nuts. He doesn't talk. Finally talks. Denies everything. Take me through how you're feeling now and what's going on. Um, I mean, we always well, I shouldn't say we always expected, but certainly I, I've been watching this guy for for three years, and and I would I was not going to be surprised if he came out and denied it, denied it. Um, it did take, you know, a week um, to come out and deny it. I, I thought that was really interesting. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you know what, to be on, on the, when he was having his press conference, two of my very good friends were getting married. So I was, I put my phone away and, uh, and, 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 and watched them get married instead of listening to him. So I read about it afterwards. Um, and, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I think that, that he has... The mayor has a pattern of denying things, and um, would you would you call yeah. that a pattern of lying? I would never call the mayor a liar. Oh, okay. Well, but I would hmm. I would say he has a, a pattern that is is evident in the past. So it didn't surprise you. It did not surprise. It did not. I, I was not surprised. I was I was a little surprised he, he took a week. Um, I thought it was very interesting, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and also that he's. Um, you know, deny the video exists, I guess. Because I think his his quote was something like, you know, I can't comment on a video I haven't seen. Or that and doesn't that, exist. And that doesn't exist. Um, and, and certainly his, yeah. Okay, so, so let's get to the video. You can tell me beyond a shadow of a doubt, putting your entire reputation, your life on the, not life, you know what I mean, yeah. everything on the line, that you have yeah. seen a video of what appears to be Rob Ford smoking crack cocaine. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So then we've established that he and you're says one of, no yeah, way. Because you're one of the like three people in the world in the well in the media because there's obviously in the media, some. In the yeah. media, there all yeah. there are lots of people up there that have seen it, and and apparently you know we're getting calls from people who have seen it as well. Um, it, it, it is circulating, it, and uh, yeah. I I just um, had to ask: Do you think there's more than one copy of this? Or is it just sitting on a cell phone? Do you think someone was smart enough to put on a hard drive too, or to, you know? My my information is that there is another copy of it. Um, oh. There are actually there's at least one other copy. There might be two other copies. One is out of the city, and one is um, somewhere else. That's awesome. <laughs> so, can you tell me then, uh, Robin Doolittle, Toronto Star reporter? Can you tell me then that if you know that there are at least two other copies of this video? Um, is the video still available? My understanding is the video. Well, uh, I think as as, um, as, as Gawker noted uh, that they have lost contact with the dealers who are selling it. Um, we're still in contact, both of us, and that's the same for the Star. We are still in contact with our what I've who I've been calling our broker, um, the kind of go between. But the other guys are kind of laying low. Um, we hear from other contacts that they're still around um, and that they're kind of monitoring the situation from a distance. Um, but there's a lot of stuff at play right now um, that I can't really get into. But um, uh, my my understanding is that the video is still is not deleted or anything. 
is it also your understanding, Robin Doolittle from the Toronto Star, that the because there's this crazy rumor out there that the Fords went and bought it for like a million dollars and stuff. Yeah. Do you do you is it your understanding that they indeed do not they have not uh, neutralized the copy or have not neutralized the video itself? Well, I mean, I, it does sound rather like a conspiracy theory, right? Um, and I have you know like no information about that whatsoever, but I can just say you know let's let's think logically through it. Um, why would anyone buy? A video that they know there could be copies of. I think people, um, I don't know, like this, you know, that sounds very mafia-esque and, and I don't know if this, like the Fords are not, are not those people as if my, you know, like they're I, I not know. gangsters. That, that just seems like, you know, they're gonna, uh, certainly I've been reading, like people are tweeting all about that on, on Twitter and, and, you know, this is, we're really just focused. This is a, a, the, a mayor who we believe has a substance abuse issue um, that needs to get help, and that's kind of our focus. That this isn't about, you know, yeah, like I, I don't this know. isn't about old school nineteen twenty stuff. Yeah, those rumors are are very fantastical, and and yeah. that's not my information. But you can confirm that the video is still still exists, uh, may think, may still be available, and there may be, and there there are more than one copy of it. I can confirm that I've been told um, that there is more by by more than one individual involved that there uh, is more than one copy of it. You know, it's fascinating to hear you use words like a conspiracy against, you know, that someone buying it as opposed to, you know, what some are deeming a conspiracy to just tarnish the mayor's reputation. Yeah. Right. And that's to me, when you say that, it, like it adds such validity to your statement of the fact that you saw this thing that you believe to be Rob Ford, because you wouldn't all of a sudden think the otherwise, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't use words like conspiracy to buy it. Yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, <laughs> you know, certainly we listened to the radio show yesterday and the Doug Ford went on again like they're out to get me and, you know, why don't they, why does the media ever report on the good stuff that we do and they're just trying to tarnish our family and, um, you know, I don't, if there's, if there's information that, uh, an ex you know, an important public official um, may be involved in, in drugs, um drug purchasing, drug using. I mean, if that's not a story that I hope people expect um, the news media to go after, I don't know what, I don't know what we're doing here. Like that's, uh, great point. that's really important. So. Yeah. A, a great point. And that this is, and, and, and uh, Todd said something earlier too, and we were discussing it on air is that, you know, the, the, this is the mayor of the city to call people maggots and to call everybody liars and to say, you're trying to ruin a reputation. I mean, the you know, public office demands to be held to a higher standard as we I, are. Yeah. And that's exactly it is that, and, and my other thing is, you know, we're certainly, um, yeah, the last week has been really interesting. Like the, the, the blowback from some people, and there's been lots of, you know, other types, but um, people who are just so upset that the that the media is reporting on this stuff, and and I guess to those people, I'm just kind of like, you know, you can love him and reelect him, and that's great. And I that's hope democracy. they do. Yeah. This has been awesome. But it's even that, like that's that's absolutely democracy, and, and that's fantastic. My, you know, when I go to work every day, I just want to bring information to light. That's full disclosure. Goal. And, so, that, and you know, yeah, as a mayor, exactly. you should just have full disclosure. So let, let me ask you this. So, the, so we know the video, uh, uh, you, you can confirm, you have heard from your sources that the video still exists. You can confirm from your sources. There may be more than uh, one or two copies of this video. You can confirm that, or sorry, can you confirm and getting, getting over to Doug Ford now, mm -hmm. uh, can you confirm that, uh, the story written in the globe, and, and John Stackhouse from the uh, Globe and Mail reported this morning, yes, it was uh, the, the, the story this weekend of the, dr the Ford's uh, drug pass and the family's drug pass uh, is, is a serious one. Can you, can you confirm any of those details? You know, I haven't done any um, reporting that I'd feel comfortable kind of staking something on about that. I know that the Globe and Mail had been working on that piece for, like that piece was going to, you know, we, heard, we first heard about that piece a year, well over a year ago, but they were considering running it and then, you know, uh, stuff happens or whatnot and things get held and, and you know, more and more information is needed. And, and you know what, at the end of the day, I, I just think it's, it's great. It's a great, you know, couple of weeks for print newspapers. Um, so everyone go out and if you're, if you're enjoying these stories, um, or if you think that what, what they're doing is important, like buy a, buy a newspaper.
<laughs> well, and, and I guess you guys have to be very careful on what you report because of all the slander and libel. You guys must be, you know, have, have, have meetings with counsel and all this stuff. So you don't just go and run papers until you're sure of sort of these things you say. No, I mean, of course, like you open yourself to a, a libel lawsuit. Um, no one ever wants to be sued. So all of this stuff is done extremely carefully. Um, and, uh, and, and everyone, you know, if you see it, it it's, it's, been pretty vetted and uh, researched and um, do you have yeah. more articles coming out oh yeah yeah I mean I've said this before like the the are you working on anything you can kind of let us know that there are, are here's a couple of different things that we're working on here are some things that you know we, we we're confirming sources for when it comes to this information yeah I mean we have some contacts with um, with other individuals involved in, in uh, the drug trade in the city um, and uh, and and we're continuing to kind of you know pursue this. It's, it's a larger story. Huh. Uh, <laughs> 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 that we're continuing to pursue, and 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 it'll hit. It'll see the light of day at some point when we're ready, and we and we feel that we have that we have the story. Uh, have Have you been contacted by the uh, Ford family lawyers or or Rob themselves, or have you guys any of you been threatened at all when uh, you you've been pr pursuing these stories? I have not been threatened. No, I mean certainly um, um, there are. You know, you you bump into people in the hallway and they're not happy with you and stuff like that. But what do you mean, like uh, employees that aren't like uh, coworkers that aren't happy with you? No, not coworkers. No, 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 no. I mean, like at city hall or something, there'll be you know polit certain political officials or staff. Um, you know, like those relationships, I could say maybe are strained right now, but. Um, <laughs> But no, we're not getting threatened or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, quickly addressing to the uh, you know, Doug Ford basically saying that, for, and, and, and he, he went after, he said that first the Toronto Star's out to get him. Then he didn't say anything about Gawker because that was two against one. And now the Globe and Mail is is not just working. And I heard John Stackhouse from the Globe and Mail this morning go, uh, you know, it's not just this story. And it's not just the story that they said uh, someone was being interviewed for the link with the murder of the man in the picture with Rob Ford. Uh, and the police are interviewing. They're, it's just interviews at this point. Who knows? I mean, I'm not speculating at all but um he said there's a whole bunch more to come as as you kind of did too so yes. at, what's your timeline when can we start to see some of that unfold do you think um what can i say hmm. <laughs> uh, our the star's primary objective is to get this video out um, so that's where we're focused and um we are, you know, working really hard not to do anything to compromise that video, to, to try to for us to obtain that. Like that's the that's the primary goal. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to start uh, writing other articles. Or all of a sudden, you're going to piss off the wrong people, and then the video never well, gets in your hands. I, 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 yeah, I mean, I'll leave it to you to, to kind of yeah. say what I'm saying there. But I'm excited uh, for next Saturday. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's what our that's what our our uh, our motivation is now. That's where our that's where our attention is focused. Um, we think we have, you know, like a reasonable chance of, um, of getting it. And uh, we're just kind of picking up where we left off uh, when we first saw it. Um, and that's where we are now. And it's a long process. And you know what? We've, we've got nothing but time. So um, mm -hmm. I know people are probably impatient. Everyone's kind of stopping me on the street and asking me questions. And, um, and yeah, that's. We're, we're being a bit cagey, but that's that's the reason. No, it's good. And then my last question: This is probably the biggest one. Do, do, do you think the mayor's head's going to explode? Yes. <laughs> I. Th <laughs> I think you might. <laughs> I think his head just may pop off. But uh, e either way, I uh, greatly appreciate your time. Robin Doolittle from the Toronto Star uh, is, is very interesting stuff. And, um, you know, I'd, on, on a personal note, because we get a little bit of editorial uh, leverage here, it, it has been uh, absolutely hilarious for me to watch these two guys stand there. And uh, this is the thing that blows my mind. You know, at the very least, Lance, Lance Armstrong had to come and face the media. And that took years. That guy said the opposite of what everybody else was saying for years. Uh, but in the end, it actually happened. So 
you know, we'll we'll see. Maybe there's truth to it. Maybe there's not. I, I uh, happen to uh, have information uh, that goes directly against what both of these yahoos are saying. But, you know, it's not for me to say at this moment. We'll wait for people like you to take on the necessary risk involved so we can just piggyback. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the risk, yeah, you met with Somalian drug dealers. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, listen, thanks so much for your time, Robin. Any, uh, yeah, 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 no problem. Sure. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Robin Doolittle from the Toronto Star. She must be a very brave reporter. Oh, yeah. No kidding. She got nuts, that chick. Yeah. I wouldn't go meet with guys well, to... I would. Yeah? Yeah. But I'd bring, like, all kinds of stuff. Like, hey, guys, I got some candies here if you want some candy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Coke, Come you on. want a Coke? Well, I'll, go to, I'll take you to a movie. Here's hey, a gift card for dude. pizza. Pizza, here you go. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to see the video. You guys are good guys. I am totally unarmed. I'm a good. I'm a good guy. But yeah, that's a tough check. The Dean Blundell Show. The Dean Blundell Show. On 102.1 The Edge. You're a maggot. You're a maggot. <laughs> maggot this, maggots. What's up, maggots? <laughs> Ford Z. He's the best. Isn't he awesome? I love him. I, I want to I I pitch don't a reality show to him. I don't care. Even if he did do the coke or the crack cocaine or even if the whole family sold drugs and the brothers and the sisters and the murder and the shooting and the faces, even even all that stuff. Even all that stuff. I, I hope he still stay. I, I can't see it happening. Judging by our interview with Robin Doolittle. But this is so much fun. Don't forget he saved the city one billion dollars. One billion dollars. <laughs> Obviously, I want to address uh, these false accusations or allegations, whatever you want to call it, um, against me and against you. This is uh, all ridiculous. I, uh, I, No matter what you say, I found out to the media... You're never going to make them happen. Uh, there's a lot of nasty. I, I, I think it's so, uh, no, 2%, 80%. Well, yeah, 80%, 80% of them are, are nasty son of a guns. Bunch of maggots. <laughs> nice, eh? Some of those maggots probably live in the city, too, so those are constituents he's calling maggots. Mm-hmm. A fella, to the best of my knowledge, has never called a constituent a maggot. Giorgio Mammoliti joins us on the telephone oh. city council. Hey, bud. No, I would never use that. And certainly uh, the media, you do not want to call the media maggots. Absolutely not. <laughs> only 80% of them, George. You're only 80%. <laughs> I want to I get along with the media. I want to get along with you. Yeah, well, it's probably a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> and not just us. I mean, like, everybody should. Cause, and you bring up a good point, uh, Giorgio, is that, you know, in, embroiled in the stuff the Fords are embroiled in, it's really not in their best interest to start calling people in the media names, is it? Uh, I, I, I don't think it's in the best interest of anyone to call uh, the media names. Uh, and I certainly don't think that anyone should be calling anybody else names. No. Except, my, you know, except myself, if I ever want to call myself a maggot. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, you're only aware of your own behavior, and it, and it just is, it's all unfortunate. But let's get down to it. You, uh, you've known Rob for a very long time. Is he, does he have addiction problems? Well, there's... Certainly, you know, Dean, we, we, we all hear the, the rumblings and the rumors and, you know, all the things that are around uh, the story and even before that, and you can go back a number of years. But, you know, if you've got him saying he's not, he's not an addict and he's not doing uh, this and he's not doing it at all and he's not taking drugs, then you almost got to take him for his word and, and you know, and, and, and move forward with that. If, yeah, but dude, you know, in, in, in the big scheme of things, and it's not the it's it's not the personal lifestyle I have the issue with. It's it's the inability to actually tell uh, any semblance of the truth which affects the entire job and someone's whole reputation. So I'm going to ask you, have you seen him get wasted? Have you seen him do drugs? Do you know anything about him in, in, a, in a, illegal drugs at all? No, I have to tell you that uh, no matter where I've been with them, I remember I'm not that close with them, okay? I know people think that I am, but I'm uh, so I don't go out and, and uh, party with them. I don't go out and you know, have dinner with them. I don't do that stuff. But in the in the settings that I've seen him, I've never seen him that way. Um, I I have very close uh, friends of mine who have or claim they have, uh, but uh, but I haven't. Claim they've seen him do what? Well, they they claim to have seen him. Uh, uh, in a state that uh, messed up, in, uh, considered impaired. Yeah, they claim to have seen him to be messed up or influenced by something. Well, that's what that's what that's what they say, and and that's what you hear. That's what people are hearing. But I, I can't say that because I I really have never seen him that way. And 
and it'd be unfair for me to say that if, if I haven't. I know okay, that. So, so not, having, not having seen him that way, and and I, I, the the, tr- tr- the truth is sometimes lies in the middle. I don't think it's anywhere close to the middle here. But you, but being honest, and I, and you know what, and I think that's what anybody wants. Do you <laughs> have you talked to him? Have you said, dude, what is going on here? Um. I have certainly one of them, uh, be, meaning uh, the people around City Hall that have made mention um, that certain there's certain dialogue going on around the city uh, that uh, that he should know about and and that he should he should address and and I I have said that yes I have um, now he has very clearly pointed out to everybody that 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 it's ridiculous as he's put it so you know based on based on that i mean is it fair for anyone to 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 come out and say you know you're lying we don't believe you uh you know based on the fact that we all really want to get down to business too dean you know i know i know but 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 that's that i know we do want to get down to business we heard from doug last week that you, uh, you and all the fine people down there that just want to get the city's business done are still doing that amidst all this stuff but we just had robin doolittle from the toronto star just confirmed to us on the telephone is, hang on very, hang on oh who is what no it was very credible i i like robin and and you know i'm not okay. saying negative about robin i need you to know that yeah i know that but we just had her on the telephone and she can confirm not only does the video exist and she's seen it there are more than one copy so let me ask you something then because of you know and, and i like you you're a good person and you've had a you've had a tough year and a good year uh and your, your attitude has changed but this is the truth now and, and that's all i'm dealing with is is what happens if and when that video comes out what are you going to do and say when asked if that video comes out and if indeed you do see uh, w- uh, the confirmation of what the stories have been saying? Well, I think, I think if that's the case, then, you know, I think you'll hear a number of us saying uh, if, if, if it comes out and, and it shows very clearly that it's the mayor and it, there's no doubt that that's, that's it, then I think the mayor uh, needs to address the city and, and explain uh, explain to them, uh, you know why uh, why he denied it. Uh, well, yeah, um, I think that would have to happen. I think you'll you'll hear me say that. That's the responsible thing to do. And also, uh, you know, I think this is the, one of the most important factors in all of this is that if he is uh, uh, guilty of this, so to speak, that he needs help and and that's that's first and foremost you know if, if someone's an addict uh then they need help you know and before they can address anybody or in this city or anything they probably need to reckon with themselves and reckon with their demons so uh, that that has to be said and uh and that's what i would be encouraging do you, do you think he needs help? Do you think he needs some type of help? In your personal opinion, and not 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 as eschewing to what it what kind of help that might be. And I, I'm not the fr- I haven't seen anything. I don't. I just happen to know enough, and I happen to know enough credible people to say that this is a, a fair question. Do you think that Rob Ford maybe needs some type of personal assistance? I think. Uh I, I don't know if it's a addiction assistant. I, I really don't. I'm, I'm not going to get into that. No, I don't, I, I'm, I don't either. I'm not. Do you think that he needs some type of help, some type of some type of counseling? I, I think that under the circumstances and with everything that's happened to him over the last uh, while, uh, I think that anybody in their right or wrong mind would need help. Uh, yeah. So the the answer to that is based on my my uh, my. My view of the matter is, uh, yes, you know, we all need a bit of counseling from time to time when when you're stressed out to this level. Well, Giorgio, only you could speak to, you know, not us. We're in the media, and as Doug Ford said, uh, you know, so media in the, in the 80s, they were um, from sure involved in coke when it was running rampant in the media world. But, I mean, you guys are city councillors, you're public figures, you're voted into office. I mean, you would only know of these pressures, and, you know, grant you're not the mayor, but you're of a pressures to, to have this certain reputation because you're mentors and you're, and you're public figures. Does that make it very difficult if there are problems to then have that full disclosure to really admit if there might be something wrong? Well, you know, nobody really wants to admit uh, when when they have an addiction or when they have a problem. Uh, But I think after 
they come to reckon with that and realize that they do, they'll actually feel better and they'll want to do a better job. Quite frankly, guys, I need to say this. I think, I think most people would want any mayor uh, to come forward, especially as popular as, as this mayor is, uh, to come forward and say, look, uh, you know, maybe I do have a problem. You know, I think that you, people would, would be more uh, supportive. I think uh, the numbers would stay where they are in the polls as well. It's not inclined. I think that's what, what people would want from someone who has an addiction and who happens to be a politician. Uh, many of them have done it uh, in the past. And when they do it, it becomes a one- or two-day story. They go for treatment, and away you go. And then, and then you, you go back to running the city or the province or the federal government again, you know. So uh, we're not, we're, we're, not um, we're human beings, you know, and, and sometimes people forget that. And we are inclined uh, to have illness like anyone else, and I'm, I'm one that can prove that. Uh, and we're, we're ones to be uh, addicted as well to any substance. I think we just need to, if we are, we just need to be honest with people and tell them that we are. Mm. Giorgio Mammoliti, our guest city councillor, uh, greatly appreciate your time today, too. You're uh, always enlightening, and, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to uh, have someone uh, speak to some things with a, a certain amount of honesty and a certain amount of integrity, uh, and that's hard to say about this uh, city hall these days, but it's, it's nice to have someone speak to it with a certain amount of integrity without selling anybody out at the same time, uh, making sure you uh, get uh, some type of message out there about getting some help, so... And, and really, at the end, uh, you, you know, you're right. He's you're human. Everybody else is human. But, uh, you know, it's just the, the taking up the city's time, taking up our business, destroying the city's reputation and amongst people around the world. Because this isn't just a small news story. This is a global news story. This is something well, that reaches people all over the place. Yeah, you know, that's the other thing is that, uh, you know, while, while, while people are, are, you know, almost excited that we're getting uh, all kinds of media from outlets in the United States, uh, look at the media we're getting. It's it's not good media. It's negative media, and and that's not that's not positive for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, and let's think that it is. You know, we want positive media for the city of Toronto. We want people to visit the city of Toronto and not visit them because we think uh, that that our mayor, uh, you know, is 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 someone to laugh at, and that's what they're doing at us. Yeah, you want a good reputation, so, obviously. You want a good reputation. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Uh, listen, I'm sorry I, I couldn't be on uh, last week. I, I really was in meetings. I know you guys don't. No, I know. You were in those meetings where you're trying to take care of this stuff. And, and trust me, we, dude, it's totally okay. We love you. Anytime you have for us is good for us. We appreciate your time, brother. Well, if you loved me, then you'd have me on as like a, a co-host one day. <laughs> a correspondent? <laughs> <laughs> we got about eight bucks in the budget for you. How does that sound? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not asking for any money, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, uh, we greatly appreciate your time, brother. You have a great day and uh, good luck, and hopefully we can touch base with you again from time to time. See you later. All right, man. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Um, hey, world, suck on that. Well, well you don't have to show it to us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How about that business? How about that for enlightening? You know, it's funny, they always say uh, the old adage, honesty is the best policy. And, and I'm sure Rob Ford saw that somewhere in a fortune cookie. And I mean, like... <laughs> probably probably on a whole cake. Because yeah. <laughs> you can write on cakes, right? You can write like a whole sentence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the point? Hey, would you mind writing honesty is the best policy on that chocolate glazed cake? It'd be the best. But who knows? He says he's being honest, so it'll all yeah. come, to, yeah, we'll to, come to a head soon, yeah. Honesty tr- usually reveals itself. The truth will always kind of reveal itself. That I've, trust me, realized. Yeah. That's You've had right. some experience about that? Yeah, that's right. Oh. Back in the 80s, I was a oh. the mayor of Canada's largest city. <laughs> had a real addiction to Sour Patch Kids. Big time. <laughs> Called on it. Uh. Like, do you smoke the weed? I'm like, yeah, goddamn right. Then I kill these Sour Patch kids one by one. <laughs> you snorted the extra kids. sugar. <laughs> snorted sugar. Yeah. That's how I'd start. That was the appetizer. <laughs> I was really addicted to keys when I was a kid. I liked the keys. I always put them in envelopes and I'd shake them all the time. I don't know why. I just like the sound. I know. Keys? It's goofy. Really? Yeah. I thought you meant now sour Stupid. keys. No, sour keys okay. too. Yeah. No, but keys. Like, I'd put them in an envelope and take them on. My dad would go, 
Quit shaking those keys. <laughs> I don't know why. I always like the sound of keys. Huh. Sure, bit of oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You went that oh. way. Oh, it's so true. Cool. He loves keys. <laughs> Superman. <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show, 102.1 The Edge.